uh, in this video we are going to see about the behavior of service in the case of resource crunch so what is resource crunch let us see suppose I am opening an app and uh, without closing it I am going to app open I am going to open several apps second one third one and the fourth one now consider that the second app which I opened contains a service which is running it may be playing a song but the first one third one and the fourth one don't have any service thing and resource crunch mean resource crunch means uh, quantity is high we can say that now the memory is low so many uh, apps are running in your system so at that time your system comes into a status called low memory then the Android operating system will kill the running apps but the app which uses the service that will not be killed immediately by the Android operating system so initially it initially it may kill the first one third one and the fourth one and again if the situation is very critical the Android operating system will kill the mobile application which uses the service also so so once it is killed now we are going to see whether that service will be restarted automatically or we have to restart it explicitly all these things so how it can be done that can be done with the help of the lifecycle method on start command in the on start command we have three parameters indent flags and the start id uh, so that the first argument indent this in but this indent contains the reference of the indent object which is passed by the method start service in my first video I explain how to start a service by calling the method start service so in the start service we are passing an indent object and that indent object is received by the this indent parameter in the on start command and flags we will see little later and what about the start ID when a service is started uh, the runtime provides an ID for that service and later we can explicitly stop the service by using this start ID now we are going to see the uh, what is that return statement we can see that return super dot on start command and we are passing these three arguments so you can see below to that there are three values start sticky start not sticky start pre-deliver indent the return state the it this method returns any of this any of these values it may be start sticky or it may be the second one or third one so what is the meaning of all these written statements as I told you that if there is some resource crunch the Android operating system will kill the app whether with which sometime it may use service or sometime it may not use service we are going to discuss about the apps which use a service suppose uh, that on start command returns start sticky then what is the meaning of that it tells the system to create a new service when there is sufficient amount of memory is available that is so when it becomes low memory only then all these problems are happening that your app will be closed immediately so when the there is sufficient memory for a app to run smoothly then it creates a fresh copy of the service but remember you will lose the results that might have computed before I will give a simple example uh, suppose you have an app 
and in which you are playing a song, song as a service. So after 20 or 30 seconds, suppose due to some resource crunch, the app is getting closed, then the service also will be closed. Then if our method returns this integer constant, later when the operating system finds that, that is when the system finds that there is enough memory, then a fresh copy of the service will be created. Then you know from where your song will start, from the beginning, not from the past stage. That is about the start sticky. And what about the start not sticky? It is about, it will not restart the service even though the uh, sufficient memory is available. Uh, so for example, uh, there may be some case like this. The service should run once in every 10 minutes. Uh, it may be uh, pulling some data from the server, something like that. So automatically the service will happen once in 10 minutes. So even though there is some sufficient memory, immediately it will not be restarted. That is about the start not sticking. And what about the start redeliver in that? This will it will restart the service after the crash and when there is sufficient memory. And also there is very important thing. It redelivers the indents that were present at the time of crash. Uh, suppose my activity is using a service where the service, uh, the, the responsibility of the service is to download a file. Suppose uh, the file size is 10 MB. Suppose 5 MB downloaded at that time due to the resource crunch, my service is getting closed. Later it is finding that there is enough memory to run at that time. Uh, it will restart the service, but it will not uh, download a fresh fi file. Where it got stopped, 5 MB I got, uh, I got 5 MB of that file. So from that 5 MB, it will continue its process. That is about the start redeliver in that. So these are the three integer constants returned by, uh, these are the three integer constants, or one of the integer constants returned by the on start command method. And what about the flag we are going to see? If it is, if it returns start sticky, the flag contains the value start flag retry. If it is of start not sticky, the flag will be again start flag retry. If it is of start redeliver indent, the flag will be start flag redeliver. So this is the information about the type of integer constant returned by on start command and the arguments which are used in this on start command. And here you can see after two, three slides. It shows whether the auto start restart is available and what about the index. In the case of start sticky, there is auto restart, but the service uh, it, it doesn't maintain the previous state. You can see the indent is null indent. The second one, there is no auto restart with indent when started. For example, as I told you that uh, uh, service are periodically running like that and self-stopping. And the next one, auto restart is there, indent. You can see that it restarts from the previous state at the kill time. For example, a simple one, either it may be file upload or file download. So by default, this on start command returns start sticky. It means when the resource is available, 
the service will be restarted from the beginning. So this is the information about the on-start command. Thank you for watching this video.